Welcome back to the St. Elizabeth Technical Sports Complex and I thank you for making it a goal of Buster Sports note. It's a 1-0 second half action. Glenmuir there leading this contest all courtesy of a 17th minute strike from Orrin Watson number 9 as the St. Elizabeth Technical team with the first attack of this second stanza. And uh, Manning's team there leading uh, the Erin Allen team by a goal channel as a long ball played forward onto Batiste. Nice defend, defensive work from Sidane Miller. So uh, for, winner, for the Glenmuir team. So they will take their own little time now. They're leading this contest as the rain begin to jizzle here at the St. Louis Technical Sports Complex. Here we go. And uh, will this be the change of 14 for the St. Louis Technical team? The uh, Glenmuir team leading this contest as the rain begin to uh, get. Well, the rain is getting harder here at the Stets Sports Complex as uh, Captain Mesamu paid on to Williams Nicardo CB2 needs to get into this game so 1-0 remains the scoreline as uh, the Glenmuir team on that right hand side to Wallace play that one inside Gabasta Edmund his touch take him away from goal as a Chadwick Kendrick two plays that one back and now uh, Williams who played that one inside Blackwood on to Nicardo Simit who needs to lift his game on to Arnold Simit now here's a chance for a shot and uh, that one is way over the top the Glenmore team they're holding their own, they're in the lead. Yeah. Uh. Alright, so here we go. The new, new money, Blackwood. He plays that one as a far store. Reed and they played over the top Antoine Simit who can go forward here's Antoine Simit he has two players inside and a touch from Headley corner kick here for the St. Elizabeth technical team so the test team there they are pressing and hoping for a answer to Watson's first off strike so corner kick a St. Elizabeth technical Nicardo Simit who needs a good delivery inside six players inside the box that one is at the back post headed out from captain Messam cut inside and now Watson who beats that one out for a throw in for the Stets team Williams and Stets team as the rain begin to Pep down here at the Centre of Technical Sports Complex. Nice turn inside of Farmer Batiste. Stets regain a possession. Kavasta Edmund, who jibbles. Play that one inside. Nice turn from Antoine Simi. Play that one across it a little bit too wide. Here's a show. And that one, a chicken off the right boot. The outside of the right boot. A goal kick for the Glen Muir team. Taken shot. Headley. Nice touch. On to. Uh, Kabasta Edmund couldn't control as a Headley who eased the pressure on to Captain Messam. So the Glenmuir team who played well outside of their defensive third and giving away possession on to and Baptiste is the first touch who allowed the ball to climb on him. And allowing Williams to get that one out for a 
a throw in so 1-0 remains the score line nice work from Blackwood who plays that one throw and the goalkeeper is off his line a little bit too hard there for Antoine Smith now a new money Blackwood and a captain Dante Campbell as a garden now the Stets team again with a possession Ajay Simit who needs to lift his game not a good pass and the Stets team to Gavasta Edmund played on the line Wallace to win a Stets ball played inside and we cleared out partially for the captain Messam player is down on this side all right so here we go and uh, 53 minutes gone in this game and uh, skipped away from one is uh, Watson they that one forward on to Baptiste and uh, Garden is on this left hand side oh that's a nice ball captain uh, Dante Campbell will get that one out <coughs> and uh, that one will stay in uh, in the play as uh, Dante Campbell who rushes in James, 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 didn't get the first touch clip on the heels free kick Glenn Muir in a very interesting area Kyle Gordon prepared to take free kick Glenn Muir nice ball inside here's the header and uh, that one is over the top and uh, a free header there by Watson all alone should have done better there is a Orain Watson there's a ball played inside he's that one on to uh, Johnson and uh, captain Dante Campbell who couldn't miss it there as a Watson uh, who plays in the, the defensive midfield role oh that's a nice ball on to Gordon a good move here and the player that one across the goalkeeper made a touch very important touch for Mui Morgan very very important touch from Mui Morgan three players were there Watson was one and definitely that touch from Mui Morgan averted the second for the Glenmuir team number 14 Damai Blackwood is off and number 11 Jordan Blake is in sentence by technical substitution nice touch from Gabasta Edmund oh, giving away possession as a new money Blackwood giving away possession on to Stets and the ball played a little bit too hard there for number seven Antoine Simic as the Williams the Glenmuir custodian rolls that one immediately out on to Wallace who plays that one inside to White Glenmuir in possession long floating ball looking for the run of David Reed and a good interception there from number six Jeffrey Henry Glenmuir in possession Reed Swung that one all the way across. No one is there. Gorky coming up here for the Stets team. Here we go. And the Stets team, they're down a goal. 57, 57 minutes gone in this one. And uh, the ball played a forward. Nice turn from Reed. And uh, the hand in the face, the hand on the shirt from number 11, David Reed. A substitution coming in as uh, number 20 is uh, getting in uh, that's a uh, top on a uh, coleman and uh, number 22 is out uh, new money blackwood substitution glenn muir here we go long ball govasta edmund who is under it nice defending from messam johnson and uh, uh, hit the back of his uh, teammate back to Johnson rubbed off the ball from the substitute Blake and uh, Williams who took his eyes off the ball so it's not working here for the left fullback 
and uh, you now uh, a tussle over there as you see the middle who plays high play inside and uh, a free a running uh, Williams who played a one wide and now for the cross ball played across this should be two is still alive how did Owen Watson miss so uh, they're attacking down the left side as a read who can uh, get this one forward Play that one inside, miscued. And a nice uh, interception from Williams who played that one forward now for the run off for Antoine Simit. He needs to use his pace as a captain. The Messam is there to clean up the mess and avert the danger. And uh, as uh, the Stets team, uh, they want to take this one uh, quickly. Play that one inside now to the substitute that Jordan Blake who turns back onto Williams. Williams inside uh, to Blake who turns inside looking for support. On to number eight, Nicardo Simit. The Stets team now they are getting some passes through. Waited too long. As a substitute, uh, uh, Javon Coleman who ease that one off to his uh, custodian Williams. And uh, nice work from uh, Captain Dante Campbell. Throwing here for the Stets team. Short. Now uh, Blake. Substitution. Getting ready here and the offside call. Not good football here for the Stets team as a, a double substitution coming in. Number 12, uh, Kenyon Wright is in. Number 7 is out, Sheldon Baptiste. And uh, number 19 is in, uh, Tajan Cummins. So Wright is in, uh, Cummins is in. And number 7, Baptiste is out. As the ball played wide, side. Test yes, team, they need to get this one right. As uh, Headley who plays that one out for a, a throwing, but the test team there, they are getting closer and closer. Uh, three substitution for the Glenmuir team. Now Cummings who. As uh, Nicardo Simit who plays that one wide to Williams who played that one across and uh, and uh, too direct to goalkeeper Williams. So the Glenmuir team they're leading this contest and uh, number 12 who will apply the, the defensive midfield role. That's uh, number 12 uh, Kimi on uh, right and number 19 uh, Tajana, uh, Tajana Cummins who will play on this left side left attacking player number 19 little but uh, let's see if he's a uh, small and uh, tallow throwing the uh, glenn muir lost possession a good tackle inside as a uh, gabasta edman who plays on to simit no whistle on the play and the ball played over the top. As, uh, so the Edmund wide. As uh, Edmund. And uh, Edmund he tried to get that one across with his right boot. But his left boot touched the ball before his right boot. Which uh, uh, toe poked that one out for a goal kick. Go throwing. Taken quickly. Ease that one off to Ajay Simit. Giving away possession. And cleared out by White. And it's the team who has that one inside and now Nicardo Simit who can chase and uh, a nice work from Headley. So the, the Glenmuir team though it seems as if they are running out of steam and uh, this is where and this is where the, the, the Stets team is uh, most effective uh, when it's down to and a chance now for a shot oh and that one is over the top there from jordan blake he should have done better he had time to adjust but they are getting closer oh, uh, a long floating ball and it up by jeffrey henry what plays that one inside was uh, right all the way across goalkeeper advanced and uh, miscued but fortunate for him it felt nicely for chadwick hendrix who plays that one forward 
try to pick that one over the top good defending from uh, captain Messam here is number six uh, and uh, miscued as uh, Henry who can get this ball forward Antoine Smith Henry who decides to go down the flank James 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 yeah all right so here we go and uh, he decides to go long on the chest of uh, Ajay Simit. Now here's a ball played inside. No whistle on the play. He was fighting for it. As uh, Captain Dante Campbell who drives a forward who played that one inside. Now uh, Gavasta Edmund, he's a tall player and I don't understand why he's not reading the flight of the ball. And the ball played wide on to Williams who can dribble can he get that one across and uh, a good defending from Wallace held back free kick here for the Glenmuir team so as the game continues the and then we're, we're on to 68 a minute so here there's this team eh? They're looking on at 22 minutes to 32 minutes to get a goal back as a white who turns and play on to his captain in Messon the Glenmuir team holding a first half lead as a Messon who plays inside now to white and a Messon playing a high game now ball played inside on to the goal scorer Watson and uh, Reed who ease the pressure on uh, to uh, Coleman Coleman robbed off the ball again from Antoine Simic Coleman has done well to regain a possession and uh, now a ball played wide on uh, to uh, Cummins a little player who slides inside and uh, the goal kick is the result so substitution in for the St. Elizabeth technical team Gavasta Edmund is out number 17 Rahul Coleman is in and, uh, and uh, on the, the 70th minute mark now a free kick here for the Stets team and uh, Chadu Kendrick who want to start it quick and uh, the game continues now Williams uh, and all that Chadu Kendrick had to do was to easy and relax he had the ball but has done well to play that one on to Jordan Blake who can cut inside he decides to go on the flank and a good defensive work from Messam goal kick here for the Glenmuir team here we go Cummins giving away possession Rahul Hill Jordan Blake ball played wide can he get that one across ball played across and a cleared out from Messam as far as the Cummins and the Cummins just uh, bonded off the ball bigger man James bigger man has a ball across inside at the back post and uh, tipped over the top from Wallace for a uh, corner kick here for the Stets team Start. no one is there at the back post and I I wonder where is the, the plan where is the plan where is the plan you have to get a positive delivery you're down a goal you need a goal you cannot afford to be having a errant passing you have to keep the momentum going as the test team they, they made a two changes to get the attacking force back on a par but it's uh, not working thus far ball headed back to Williams here is a ball played inside and uh, now the St. Louisville technical team is uh, in the 72nd minute so time is winding down time is winding down here for the test team 
to win as far as to Jordan Blake. Ball played inside. A goal attacker there. Gordon to take over. A whistle on the play. Free kick here for the Glenmuir team. Now Coleman. Intercepted. Rahul Hill. Plays that one down field. Who cuts inside is Jeffrey Henry. Rahul Hill who was robbed off the ball as Reed controls and play that one inside. Nice ball down the flank for Watson. The goalkeeper comes. And the tackle was there from Sidane Miller. So Sidane Miller, the card is out. And a free kick here for the Glenmuir team. Three players in the wall. Here is a garden and that one is way over the top there. So the score remains at 1-0. And 15 minutes off. Normal time remaining as a, a substitution are coming in and uh, Antoine Gooden is uh, getting in and uh, Wallace number three Brandon Wallace is uh, getting out unusual to see a player wearing uh, the number one shirt an uh, outfield player normally uh, a goalkeeper who Where's a, a number one as a garden who plays that one wide on to Cummings and Cummings who uh, twisting and turning and not going anywhere but just uh, giving the fans from Clarendon a, a little spice as a ball played through and the goalkeeper Mui Morgan receives one nil remains the score line the sentence by technical team they're down here and, uh, 76 minutes gone in this one where will the goal come from as Rahul Hill who drives forward still Hill again and Hill watch closely from number one Antoine Gooden who plays on in the right back position free kick Stets sentence by technical with this free kick Williams to take as uh, the fans here they're shouting goal and, uh, and the referee just asking uh, Williams to take the ball back now we're ready at the front post a uh, flicked on it's still alive and the goalkeeper Wallace he fell it fell from his arms but he recovers swiftly that's the custodian of Williams. So the score remains at a goal to nil in favor of the Glenmuir team. Long ball. Here we go. He's at that one. And to White. Cummings. Yeah. Nice ball picked on from right. Here's Reed. The goalkeeper is there. 2-0 and guess who the number 9 Oren Watson who reaches there before goalkeeper Mui Morgan and a beautiful cross inside from David Reed. so the Glenmuir team they're living the dream here at the center of the Telecolor Sports Complex at 2 goals to nil and that one coming in the 78th minute on my watch so the Stets team they're down here 2 goals to nil as they drive forward again, play that one through and uh, easy for goalkeeper Williams and the Glenmuir team. As the player is down, here we go. Number 18 is on, Jovan Boyd and the goal scorer, the double goal scorer, Oren Watson is out. And the Glenmuir team, no whistle on the play. As a test team, they can go forward again. Down here by two goals to nil. And uh, you cannot. You have to anticipate every move as Antoine Simith. He fell to the ground, no whistle on the play. And uh, Sidane Miller, who is uh, up front. And uh, 
has been implemented in the middle of the park now and I'm sure that and the coach Omar Rambo Wedderburn will want to get a goal back to see if they can to see if they can get a consolation as a Reed who races forward he has a player inside the middle in a number 18 Boyd but he decided to dribble and a corner kick is the result so the Gledmere team really applying a great deal of pressure on this Stets team 2-0 is the scoreline and a good display from the Glenmuir unit and they're playing as if they are the home team and not good for the five-time champions in the center is but technical ball at the front post and now the test team clear as far as the midway mark in their half here we go ball played in the center of the park a depleted Stets team and they're not knowing where the ball is and a crunching tackle there from Sidane Miller he's on a yellow card already so if he receives this one it will be a red card so Sidane Miller will be sent off he will be sent off let's see what referee Mackenzie will do and he dip for the left pocket Red card, the Sida in the middle, and the Stets team there down to 10 players. All right, so here we go. And uh, the Glenmuir team, and uh, look as if he will go forward, he will go direct straight towards the goalkeeper, Mui Morgan. So 2 0 remains the scoreline. The Stets team there down to 10 players. and. Uh, there's a Jordan Blake as Antoine Simitou eased that one off and uh, the pass, the passing going forward is not working for the Stets team as a Garden who can uh, play that one wider to Reed Reed who cuts inside, the back keys that one onto the substitute, here's a shot and a save and uh, the rebound a shot coming in from Akimi on uh, right number 12 nice uh, display from uh, the Glenmuir team, the rebound that coming in from number 18 and a Jovan Boyd. Now uh, White, who plays that one wide on to Cummins. Good cross. Here's a header. It's still alive. Reed cuts on his right boot. Saved by the goalkeeper, Mui Morgan. And the uh, Glenmuir team there. Playing with fire there. Really attacking. Applying a great deal of pressure here at the center by Technical Sports Complex. Playing some quality football here. As a, a 10 man steps down two goals. 86 minutes on my watch. And now Rahul Hill who flicks that one in. And a goalkeeper Williams easy catch for Williams so 2-0 is the scoreline as a uh, Stets team really not applying a, a format a, a pattern and uh, they caught on the offense they caught on defense it's not working here for the the Stets team the Glenmuir team though, the, the Glenmuir team, they really came here and, and played and applied to their game plan. And uh, the danger man, number nine, Orain Watson, who is uh, now on 15 goals. He, he came here with 13 goals and uh, two goals to, to the good for the Clarendon outfit and the Stets team they are looking in the face of defeat three minutes of normal time remaining in this game Glenmuir team play that one in ball across from White 
Boyd. In fact, that's Gooden. Cummings. Back to Gooden. Switches the play on to Cummings. In fact, that's Coleman, number 20, Coleman, who goes direct. So, two minutes of normal time remaining. As a ball flicked on, as a nice flick, but Captain Messam is there to clean up the mess. There's a Cummings, a lost possession. On to Williams. Nice turn from Simic, who dribbles inside. And Rahul Hill, who tried to back heel it to the on rushing Simit not working here for the Stets team 2-0 they're down here the Glenmuir team they are playing really well holding their own holding their format as Antoine Simit who dribbles inside Ajay Simit who turns into trouble Nicola Simit a peripheral figure in this game not showing his intent as a whistle blown free kick here for the Stets team you cannot call it off until the fat lady sing free kick on that right hand side Nicardo Simit who goes over to take this one 2 nil is the scoreline the 10 players of Stets they're down here with a free kick can they get something at the back post and a little shove in the back and um, uh, that header is in the side netting a goal kick Glenn Muir taking short and uh, Rahul Hill who tried to get possession as a Coleman who can take this one forward in fact that was a Headley and, uh, and now he plays inside and uh, 18 is Boyd almost giving away possession as Cummings who stepped on the ball White had a wonderful game number five Jason White now Gooden who is javelin inside all the way from his half and uh, the flag is up on uh, Reed and, uh, and uh, referee just indicating to the goalkeeper Mui Morgan that the ball was rolling you have to stop the ball in order to to restart the game and, uh, and now here is uh, and uh, now uh, Jordan Blake can uh, get there been watched closely from Messam ball swung all the way across and it's not working for moving for the test team the passing game is off, the, the crosses is off, everything is off here for the Stets team not working in either three thirds of the game. So we're into a stoppage time. A minute off. So uh, the goalkeeper is down and, uh, and now no indication from referee Mackenzie. So we're in stoppage time. Uh, the referee Mackenzie hasn't indicated to us the amount of added time he will play. So I guess he's uh, keeping that one to himself as uh, Messam is uh, down. So four minutes of added time indicated from referee Mackenzie. We're into two minutes by my watch. And uh, the Estes team there down here, two goals to nil. And uh, the Glenmuir team will definitely walk away with this three points. Uh, they have Mannings, they have Edwin Allen, and also the Estes team, they also have Mannings and Edwin Allen to play in this quarterfinal draw. And uh, the last time we heard the uh, Edwin Allen team, they were down a goal to nail by the Manning's team as a Jordan Blake who can go forward uh, surrounded by three pairs play that one across uh, and a little bit too hard there for number six and it's very easy to get a pass through you cannot you have to you have to know the weight of your pass the Glenmuir team though they 
they have applied really well they have played really well they have they they they, they came to stats and made it clear their intentions of going through to the semi-finals and, and just let me say a warm big up to amir williams a young five year old who is a, a number one a goal a buster sports note fans as a garden who to me is a the player of the of the game really uh, taking the, the 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 game by storm play that one wide offside flag so we're uh, looking at the full-time whistle any moment now as a, a two nil lead and definitely the Glenmere team will walk away with it it's three points so three points in the bag for the Clarendon outfit as uh, Blake Blake who turns on his right play that one inside oh miscontrols again from Jeffrey Henry and here's captain Dante Campbell who decides to jiver and uh, now a ball swung across Rahul Hill and uh, a throw in here but it's not working here for the Stets team and no time at all as the ball has swung across Antoine Simit who heads that one down Nicardo Simit who is uh, quiet all the game play that one inside now for a chance here on his right boot play that one inside and uh, now goalkeeper uh, Williams will ease the tension here and anytime now referee Ali McKenzie will blow the full-time whistle and there goes the full-time whistle so two goals to nail all the courtesy of number nine Oren Watson in the 17th minute of play and also in the 69th minute to take the Glenmuir team one step forward into the semi-finals so final score here, Glenmore 2, Centers by Technical, Nail, I'm a goal buster and I want to thank you again for making it goal buster sports note. As we do it all over again on Wednesday, as the steps, they will take on Edwin Allen. Goodbye.